Welcome to the Anti-Air Pollution Podcast. Now, introducing Hao Han Wong, a historian slash genius. Shall we just start now? I really want to tell my history lecture. Sure. sure. So, air pollution started, or, well, was paid attention at, in 1948, when a very serious industrial air pollution disaster happened in Nonora, Pennsylvania. Survivors said that it was really hard to breathe. The pollution suffocated 20 people in the big city. Donora's pollution disaster was widespread all over the world, which made people panic. And it was crazy. And many people were dying of the really unhealthy air everywhere. Scientists had nothing to do and took quite a long time to find a cure for the doctors to use to help the people with damaged lungs. Major strides have been made to improve air quality, but many complex scientific questions remain unknown. It has also become increasingly clear that multiple pollutants play a role in determining risks to the people and the environment. In 1952, the Great London Smog resulted in about 4,000 deaths. Cool! Awesome! Don't interrupt my speech! As I was saying, the Great London Smog was ended up being in one of the deadliest pollution attacks of all time. Unfortunately, in the 1980s, lots of combustion engine vehicles hit the road, which caused more air pollution, especially the diesel ones. Fortunately, the Great London Smog led to an act of Clean Air Acts in 1956 and 1968. Following the Clean Air Acts, air quality improvements have continued through the 1970s and 80s. When did air pollution start, Hao Han? Well, Rahim, it just started. Probably when the dinosaurs were in existence, air pollution was there with them. Probably even before the dinosaurs. Will air pollution ever end? Well, it's obvious that it's undetermined, because we don't know how advanced technology we have in the future, and we don't know if there's going to be a great scientist. Well, genius, I think it is my turn to start speaking. But, uh, what? Well, I truly think it is Diego's turn to start speaking. Uh, fine. Go ahead and talk about your nonsense. Okay, as I was saying, wait, what was I talking about? We have people listening to this, bruh. Oh, yeah, you're doing air pollution fun facts. Oh, yeah, well, as I was trying to say. Wait, before that, if you see a cow, don't let it burp. It causes air pollution. Okay. Well, if you didn't know, an average American literally breathes 3,000 400 gallons of air pollution a day, unless you stay in your house for the whole time. Actually, indoors air pollution is two to five times worse than outdoor air pollution. It's my turn. Sorry, man. Okay, as I was saying, dude, did you know that 300,000 people in China die to air pollution diseases a year? And also, air pollution and traffic jams can really raise the chances of giving you a heart attack. If you didn't know, air pollution is literally on the top 10 outdoor killers of the world. Cool! Shh! Well, dude, if rain is mixed with air pollution, it can cause something called acid rain that can destroy animals' habitats and their cells. Wait, what is the most polluted place on Earth? Well, I can't see a city or a country, but can I see a continent? Asia is the most polluted continent on Earth because I did some research and India and China are on most of the websites. Also, by 2050, 6 million people will die due to air pollution. Cool. Cool and awesome. Not cool. By the way, air pollution in China can travel up to the center of California. In Beijing, the air pollution is normally so high that it has created a new disease called the Beijing cough. And if air pollution is wet, like a hundred miles away from the Grand Canyon, it's still foggy. In the end, air pollution is everywhere, so I'm just warning you that if this keeps going, it can cause to the end of the world. So please help the world. That's what my thing is about. So can I talk? Okay, because I think I lost my voice. Okay, this was our leaders project. Not just us naming a bunch of things about air pollution. Yes, we need to become leader. That's why I'm running for president. Are you 30 years old or older and were you born in the USA? Maybe. Moving on. I'm not 
talking about becoming president. I'm talking about telling everyone about how you can help reduce air pollution. I still prefer becoming the president. Be quiet. It's my turn to act like Jimmy Kimmel. Now, listen to these next words carefully, and you might become an amazing, air pollution-free, almost, person. All right. Number one, gasoline. We all know that gasoline is bad for the environment. That is why you should reduce unnecessary idling of your car. What does idling mean? It means that you leave something on for too long, and in this case, that's gas. Well, you can stop your car while waiting for the green light, and that will save many lives in the future. Correct. But you can also use another way of traveling, like biking or running. What if you're tired? Then carpool or take the bus. It still uses air pollution, but it's less vehicle air pollution. True. Sure, that's nice, but are there any more steps? Uh, yeah, there are tons more. Tons more meaning there are only two more, but they're really juicy. Let's go to number two. Number two, chemical house needs. There are many house needs that give off <coughs> volatile organic compounds. Whoa, big words. Just say VOC. Anyways, those VOC spread throughout the air, which causes air pollution, like pesticides. Yeah like pesticides. So how can you help stop VOC? Well, fortunately, some house needs that are known to have VOC have changed the chemical formula to reduce VOC. Those products have a symbol on it which says low VOC, which means low, low volatile organic compound. Yeah, so if you buy these house needs, you'll be help stopping air pollution. But what if some house needs need dangerous chemicals to work? Good question. You see, we can't stop that. That stuff you just need to reduce buying. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. Moving on to number three. Number three, solar energy. First off, solar energy is energy that's produced by the sun. Yeah, you see, normal energy causes air pollution. It is just a side point, don't leave your light on. It causes air pollution even more. So how is air pollution not in solar? You see, the sun is clean energy, which cannot be transferred into air pollution. What if you leave the light on? Will it not cause air pollution? Yes, but that will be wasting energy. In the night, you will have no energy. So if you turn the light off in the morning, it will store up solar energy for the night. Neat! Why do people not have solar energy? It sounds great. Unfortunately, some people are too lazy to get solar panels to get solar energy. But you can be one of those amazing non-lazy people and get solar panels. All right! So if you follow these steps and some other websites which don't like air pollution, you will help lead mankind to an amazing, less polluted future. So that is what we have to say today. We hope you enjoyed our podcast. If so, please spread this podcast. And after that, go out there and save the world.